in the traveling studio out and about. Um, he's down in dirty videos are going to be going away soon, I hope. I um, am planning on setting up my camera at the house and start doing my movie reviews and my TV reviews and all that for my office. Um, but this video is going to be on the uh, first week of Arrowverse. Let's start with Batwoman. Batwoman was exactly what I was expecting it to be. It was telling the origin story of Cassandra Kane, how she became Batwoman, how her, her lead villain, why she's after her and all this stuff, and kind of gives you a full backstory of the character. You can see a lot of plot that they're gonna be building on over the season. And honestly, I can say, in my own personal opinion, the cinematography looked really good for a TV show. Um, it's got a lot of that uh, Chris no or Nolan and um, Tim Burton feel to it with the old grungy type Batman or Bat person storyline. For Supergirl, you find out she got, gets the new suit. There's a little bit of a time jump. You find out some other things that have been going on. Supergirl is one of those shows where it's always going to be hard for them to do things that they really want to do because they don't have control of certain characters that they would need to make Supergirl more robust, I'll put it that way. Um, Black Lightning, <laughs> Black Lightning is Black Lightning. It's right back in its prime. It's doing, starting up right where the last season ended with Markovians about to start a war for metahumans and all of the stuff that's gonna be going down with that, with that storyline from last season. Then we come to Flash, and Flash was, that first episode is introducing Bloodworth, the new, new first half villain, uh, Team Flash dealing with uh, the loss of Excess, Nora, and dealing with just the way the world has become over the last six months. Um, I can see a lot of things happening in Flash because of Crisis on Infinite Earth happening this year. You've got Monitor, the Anti-Monitor. They're not saying this, but I got a sneaking feeling that every, epi or every episode, every show of the Arrowverse is going to end up having some little tie-in. Might be a big slap you in the face tie-in, or it might just be somebody showing up that we'll see later on. You may meet characters that will show up now that you may not pay off until December. But so far, the first four shows that has aired have done really well. I think they're going to have another great season in the Arrowverse. And if you're not watching Batwoman, Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, Black Lightning, and Legends of Tomorrow, give it a chance. They're not the greatest shows in the world, but if you're a comic book fan, they definitely pay homage to major stories in the comics and major characters that come out of the comics. Hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, smack like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And like I said, hopefully within the next week, I'll be posting some new stuff, new opener for my movie review, some other stuff that I'm going to be working on in my office here this week and next week. And um, I'll be posting some new stuff, and hopefully it'll start looking a little bit better and have better audio and everything. So just give me time, 
and we'll get it out there. Y'all have a good day. I'll see you when I see you.